Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Okay, I'm, I'm going to start with the attendance, okay? Be ready. Okay, Alejandro Jose. Alejandro Jose, no here. Grace 18. Ana Consuelo. Ana María Villatoro. Ok, Ana María. Se le oye entrecortado, pero ahí la vi. Uh, Elsa Cecilia. Oh. Eh, mamá. Mamá. Sí, este, disculpe, mamá. Este, fíjate que por eso estoy con una familia en el hospital, por eso no hay mucha señal. Así que va a estar bien. Ok, ok, Ana María. Elsa Cecilia. Gabriela Carolina. Present. Ok. Present, Gabriela Carolina. Excelente. Gary Adonai. Present, teacher. Excelente, Gary. Glenda Elizabeth. Grisel Leonor. Henry Oswaldo. Hilda de Los Ángeles. Vidalia del Carmen. Jacqueline Lorena. Ok. José Audis. Catherine Yanira. Presente. Ok. Catherine Andrea. Presente, teacher. Excelente. Catherine Yamilet. Alicia Elizabeth. Present. Excelente. María Ana de Jesús. Present, teacher. Excelente. María Cristina. Marilyn. Present. Ok. Hoy sí, ready. Marvin. Present, teacher. Ok. Mauricio. Present, teacher. Excelente, Mauricio. Minor. Present, teacher. Great. Nubia Araceli. Nubia Beatriz. Present, Miss. Excelente. Reina Inés. Stephanie Alejandra. Present, teacher. Excellent. And Tatiana Michelle. Present. Great. Okay, Reina, Maria Cristina. Catherine Jamilet. Jose Audis. 
Idalia, Hilda, Henry, Glenda, Alejandro, Ana Consuelo, ¿no? Ok. Okay, today we're going to start section five, which is lesson or unit five on your material. So we're going to start talking about the time. Okay, the name of the section is what are you doing? Okay, what are you doing? We are going to continue working with present continuous tense. Okay, se recuerdan que ya dimos una pequeña introducción del presente continuo, cuando lo íbamos a utilizar, cómo iba a ser la gramática, hicimos algunos ejercicios. And now we are going to uh, see deeper. Okay, vamos a ver un poquito más acerca de él. And we are going to talk about time. Okay, we have here time zones. Okay, depending of which part of the world you are, okay, the time is different. Okay, the time is different. So we have. Uh, Mm, some cities here and some of them are in the same time zone. Okay, for example, we have Vancouver and Los Angeles. They are in the same, in the same time zone. Okay, but for example, Tokyo and Moscow are in different, different time zones. Okay. So, um, this is a listening exercise, but we don't have the, the audio, so we are going to continue. Okay. Which cities are in the same time zones and which cities are in your time zone? For example, El Salvador, it doesn't appear uh, in this map, okay? But which countries do you think have the, the same time zone that ours? Yes, what do you think? No idea. Los de la zona F. Okay, veamos. Son F, they say, Marvin. So for example, all Central, Central America. Yes? Yes. From Guatemala. Mexico, it's in a different time zone here. Mexico, it's in E. But from Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica. I don't know if Panama, I think Panama. No, Panama is, no, Panama is in G probably, right? I don't know. So yes, thank you, Marvin. Now let's practice the conversation. Okay, let's listen and then we are going to make pairs to practice. Yes, Araceli, sí le tomé listo. Ahorita le pongo a María Cristina en Grisel. Okay, only let me with the attendance for them. Grisel. Grisel, ya le había puesto. Okay. 
María Cristina en Henry. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk and practice a conversation by listening to a short audio program to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Then, oh yes, we have the audio. We have the audio here. So we are going to practice. Practice the pronunciation. Vancouver. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver. Okay. Vancouver. Vancouver. Okay. Vancouver. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Okay, Los Angeles. Mexico City. Mexico City. Mexico City. Next. Lima. 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 Lima is the same. Is the same, right? Okay, okay. Montreal. 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 New York City. New York, New York City. Okay, New York City. San Juan. San Juan. San Juan. San Juan. Yes, yes, a kind of, a kind of. San Juan. Con pronunciación gringa. Brasilia. 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 Remember. Brasilia. 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 Okay. Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. It's not no Pablo. Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. I listen to San Pablo. No, Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Okay. London. 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 Casablanca. 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 Cape Town. Uh huh. Cape Town. 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 Okay. Warsaw. Warsaw. <laughs> Warsaw, Warsaw, this one. Warsaw. This one. Warsaw. 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 Moscow. 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 Riyadh. 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 It's this Riyadh. one. It's totally different. The writing with the pronunciation. Riyadh. 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 
Soul. 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 Bangkok. 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 Tokyo. Sydney. Tokyo. Tokyo and Sydney. Tokyo and Sydney. Yes. And then we have the conversation. Now let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now it's your time to practice. Questions about vocabulary? No? It's clear? Are you ready? Okay, so the first conversation will be modeled by Mauricio and Grise. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Davy. This is John. I am calling from Austra from Australia. Australia. I am at a conference in Sydney. Remember. All oh, right. What time it is? It eating and eat for a cross. They are they in Los Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Oh, I'm really sorry. Oh, I'm really sorry. Tan, okay. I wait now. I'm awake. Awake. So you were asleep and after the cold, you are awake. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, now... Thank you. Two volunteers. Me. Okay, minor. And the other. And. Me. Me, teacher. Mariana. Okay. Sí. Okay, okay. Hello. Hi, this is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I am um conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is it there? At 10 and 10 p.m. perdón. And it is 4 o'clock here in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock is in the morning. Four a.m. Oh, I'm I'm really sorry. Thanks. Okay, I awake. Awake now. Okay, thank you. Remember the pronunciation for Australia. Aus no, no es, o sea, lo están diciendo muy en Spanish. Tienen como que omitir la U y va de corrido con la S y la segunda E, la segunda A, la de en medio, suena a kind of E. Australia. Ok. So try to practice. Esto es for everyone, in general, para todos. Ok, and the last, last two, please.
no volunteers. Um, the twins, please. What are the twins? Are you here? Hello. <laughs> Hi, baby. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at the conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is here? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, really? Oh, I'm really sorry. Uh, that's okay. Um, I am awake now. <laughs> okay, thank you. Remember Los Angeles, angel, like angel, but angeles, Los Angeles. Okay, thank you. So now we're going to, well, no questions about vocabulary, pronunciation. Awake. ¿Qué okay. significa? It's the opposite of sleep. You are sleeping and in the morning you are awake. Okay. Okay. So now we have grammar focus. Okay, what time is it? How you can ask for the time. Okay, you can ask and also you have to learn how to tell the time. Okay, first let's see some questions in which we can ask. We can ask the time. Okay, you can ask uh, the typical, what time is it? Okay, what time is it? That's like in general, the, the more uh, usual way to ask the time, what time is it? But also you can say these other phrases, okay, what time do you have? Okay, what time do you have? That's it's a kind of more polite, okay. And then, if you ask specifically for something, you can say, What time does your class, your English class, start? or What time does your English class finish? Okay, and what time is it? Do you know the time? Okay, do you know the time? Do you know what time is it? Okay, esta es parecida a what time is it, solo que le agregamos como esa frase introductoria. Do you know? Okay, do you know the time? Okay, do you know what time is it? Can you tell me the time, please? Okay, esa podría ser otra forma. Can you tell me the time, please? Okay, what time do you do something? What time do you wake up? In the morning, what time do you go to sleep? Okay, when is the movie? Well, when is for days? Okay. En este caso, la última, no aplicaría para, o sea, yes, it's time, but it's more related with, with days. Okay, when? When is the movie? When is the concert? Ah, the concert will be on Friday. Okay. Entonces, eso sería to ask for the time and then you have to practice how to tell the time. Mm, only wait. I'm going to make it smaller. Ok, 
Okay, we have here the clock. Okay, the clock, you can, um, it's like you have a, a pizza, for example, if you have a pizza. Okay, you can divide the clock in uh, quarters. That's the, the most common. Okay, we have here, you have, Here is the house, okay, the house. So you can say, um, for example, it's 12.30 or you can say it's half past 12. Okay, half, it's equal to say 30 minutes. Okay, that's half. But also you can say, you can divide here, okay? And here you have four quarters, four quarters. Okay, in like here, you are going to say quarter past, quarter past. And in this quarter, you will say quarter two. Okay, for example, uh, it's 12, uh, no, it's quarter past 12. It's quarter past 12. Okay, que sería equivalente a decir 12, 15. Okay, it's quarter past 12. Equal to 12, 15. But here you can say it's quarter to 12. It's quarter to 12. Que sería el equivalente a decir 12.55. Okay, you can say 12.55 or it's quarter to 12. Oh, no, 11.45 sería. Porque vamos a, va a llegar, ¿verdad? No ha llegado todavía. Entonces sería 11.45. It's equal to say it's quarter to 12. It's quarter to 12. Entonces, digamos que lo más común o lo, lo que se utiliza o lo que se escucha mejor son estas formas. O, o sea, you can say, you can say, yes, it's 12, 15. Yes, it's correct. But the most common way to say the time is in using these, um, these phrases. Okay? And... Here in the in the first quarter, you're going to say past is uh, five past twelve is ten past twelve it's quarter past twelve it's twenty pa past twelve okay hasta llegar y hasta llegar a half it's half past twelve. Okay. Luego de acá para acá vamos a decir two. Okay. Or the other way to say it eh, sería utilizando two. Okay. It's twenty-five to twelve. It's twenty to twelve. It's quarter to twelve. It's ten to twelve. If it's five to twelve. Okay, y así como la pregunta dice, what time is it? Okay, in the answer, you have to say, it is, or it's. It is seven o'clock. It's seven o'clock. Okay? Ese sería para el caso del clock. And let's see some exercises or some examples here in the in, in the manual okay so we have o'clock when you have zero minutes okay one zero zero okay it's mean o'clock and punto okay it's one o'clock 
Y luego teníamos también, eh, if you are going to use numbers, you, you can say, it's 1.05. Es como que estuviera leyendo el reloj digital, ¿verdad? Así. It's 1.05. It's 1.05. O también puede decir, it's 5 after 1. O la otra forma que vimos en la presentación. La acabamos de ver. Oh. ¿Cómo sería completo? Five past one. It's 5 past 1. Correct. Ok, entonces todas esas son formas correctas de decirlo, ¿ok? You can say eh, all of them. Then we have it's 1.15, lo que les decía que la que no es muy común, but it's correct, or it's a quarter after one, or it's a quarter past one, ¿ok? It's 1.30, or, ¿cuál sería la otra forma de decirlo? It's half, uh, half past one. Half past one, correct. And then we have it's one forty. It's twenty to two. Okay, y aquí se están las dos formas. Okay? It's one forty or it's twenty to two. And the last one, it's one forty five or it's a quarter to Two. Okay, this part it's clear. It's clear. Okay, let's practice with this one. Okay, number one. Mm. Alejandro, what time is it in number one? Eh, está fácil, ¿no? it's 20 after 2. Ok, it's 20 after 2. Ok, another way to say the same time. It's 20 past 2. It's 20 past 2. 20 past 2. Ok, thank you. Number 2, Catherine Andrea, what time is it? It's uh, it's a uh, quarter to two. It's not uh, quarter. No it's not quarter. Con esto se siento que estoy dando vía. It's Ten. It's ten to seven. It's ten to seven. Correct. It's ten to seven. De aquí para acá vamos con two. Es como, es que nosotros casi no lo usamos. Es como decir diez para las siete. Diez para las siete. Eso sería it's ten to seven. Entonces, por lo general, nosotros decimos it's 740. It's 740. It's here in El Salvador, okay? But it's correct. It, you can say it, okay? Lo puede decir, pero como le digo, como el más utilizado o el más apropiado, it's 10 to 7. Okay, number three. Gabriela. It's... Eight, 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 five. Okay, and the other way? Eight, 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 eight. Quarter. It's a quarter tonight. It's a quarter tonight. Correct. Thank you. Jose. ¿Quién lo dijo? El 
minor. Okay, excellent, minor, yes. Okay. It's a quarter to nine. Great. Okay, number four. Nubia Beatriz. Miss Bill. Number four. It's eleven. It is eleven. It's eleven parts five. Algo así. No sé. Si vamos a usar pass, sería it's five. It's five of eleven. Me mezclo los dos. Otra vez. It's five. Uh-huh. It's it's five after past eleven. Uh-huh. It's five. Eh... Past 11, ok. O también la otra forma podría ser, uh, vamos a ver, Mauricio. La otra forma de decir la number four. Mauricio. Grisel. Eleven, um, five, five fats. No, esa fue la que la misma que dijo. It's five past eleven. Y la otra forma sería eleven o five. Yes, eleven. It's 11.05. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Number five, Elsa. Uh, sería is 3.15. Okay, 3.15. Or, en la otra forma, usando quarter. Is quarter past three? Yes, great. It's quarter past three. And the last one, let's see, Crisia. It's for Thursday. Mm, again? Uh, it for Thursday. Thirty. It's for thirty. Eso sería una have... forma. Y la otra. Si queremos usar half. Mm, ayúdenle, Jacqueline. Stephanie. Henry. Hello, hello. Number six. Eh, sería five sixteen. Mm. No. Is half past boy. Half no. past. Is for thirteen. Es. Sí, pero ese ya lo habían dicho. Ah, no está poniendo atención. It's is half past four. Half past four. Correct. Four. Uh, four. Is half past four. Porque sería las cuatro y media. Porque si yo digo five. 
it's five. Ya ni me acuerdo cómo dijeron. Pero es four. It's half past four. Ok. Ok, pay attention. Y si lo dice al revés, eh, aún está correcto. Se lo dice mm. for half. Al igual que a quarter, siempre tiene que decirlo antes. Si lo dice luego, está correcto. No, no puede decir. Sería eh, for, como decir four and a half, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. No. Sí, sí. Ajá, no. tiene que. Sí, ajá. Pues, pues, sí, tiene que decir past. It's uh -huh. half past four. Ok. Uh -huh. Al yes. igual que en el ejemplo de, de a quarter, siempre tiene que decirlo antes. Si lo dice two past quarter, no se entiende. No. Sí, no. No sería correcto. Uh -huh. No. Siempre debe ser antes. Yes. Ok. Yes, Gary. Después del half past, este se tiene que decir la hora que sigue. Sí, correcto. Oh, ok. Okay. Ajá, hasta eso la, tenía, hasta la eso half, tenía mi duda. hasta las half, vamos. Se dice digamos, la hora, correcto. Ajá, en la hora que estamos montados, por decirlo ajá, así. Ajá, correct, yes. Sería okay, the two hands, las que aparecen ahí, the two hands of the clock. One is the hour hand y la otra es the minute hand, the minute hand. Okay, en las half, hasta las half, la hour hand. Esa es la hora que vamos a decir, así como dice, como dice Gary. But de la half para las siguientes, ahí vamos a ir a la next, porque vamos a llegar ahí. Okay, entonces sería okay, la siguiente. Yes, entonces la hour hand la va a correr, la correría, ¿verdad? A la siguiente hora. Okay, excellent. Great observation. Thank you, Gary. Okay, so let's see the exercises. I bring some exercises for you. Vamos a ver si es cierto. More questions? No? No, teacher. Okay, vamos entonces con la number one. Maria Cristina. Esta, number one. Vale, voy a darle la ayudita. <ríe> Ana María. Jacqueline. It's quarter past five. It's quarter past five. Okay. Number two. Cualquiera, porque si no voy a perder tiempo. Y estarle, estarle preguntando. Number two. No. Again? No, it, it's ten. It's Twenty-five two. past ten. No, qué barba. It's 25 past 10. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number three. 10 to 11. Okay. 10 to 12. 10 to 12. Ah, 12, perdón. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Number four. It's five past eight. eight. Okay, what is it? La primera. La ah, primera. Yes. Okay. Next. It's half past three. It's half past three. Okay. It's 20 past nine. 20 past nine. It's 20 past nine. Okay. We stand to two? 10? 
It's in two, two. Uh, 20. Twenty to three. Yes, it's in what is that? Ah, sí. What? Oh. Twenty to three. Twenty to three. Okay, next. Thirty five past ten. No, no, perdón, perdón. Thirty five past ten, six, six, six. Twenty five to seven. Si, ¿Dónde está eso? Así va. Twenty five to seven. Okay. This one. Uh... Ten past one. Ten past one. Ten past one. Ten past one. And the last one. It's quarter to five. Quarter to five. Okay, let's check. Yes. Okay. I'm going to send you the link. Le voy a mandar el link para que sigan practicando y aquí mismo hay más ejercicios para que puedan practicar. Muy bien, next part. Esto es más de práctica. Okay, you have to practice. But it's clear. Está claro. Yes. Yes. Okay. Solo una pequeña duda. Yes. Cuando es y media es half. Uh -huh. O oh, 30, puede ser. Las dos. Oh. Ok, perfecto. Ok. Muy bien, then we have. It is, is it AM or PM? Ok, I don't know if you have this exercise on the platform. Did you check? Okay. What time is it? It's a of time. Okay. I think it's, I don't know, this is different. This is other. Okay, let's do this exercise. It's 5.4. Sería el primer ejercicio de la, de la section 5. Okay. What time is it? It's 10 to 7. 10 to 7. Okay. It's 10 to 7. Okay, here, number three. Pide dos. No se puede con uno. Le va a salir bien. Which one? La error si usted le da solo probabilidades pide dos es que tiene dos respuestas tiene que ser dos opciones ah esta es la que decían de que tenían que seleccionar los dos Ok, entonces sería it's ten to seven y la otra It's 25 to 11. 6.50. 6.50. 6.50. 6.50. 6.50. 6.50. 6.50. 6.50. 6.50. 6.50. 6.50. 6.50. 6.50. 6.50. 6.50. 6.50. 6.50. 6.50. 6.50. 6.
It's a quarter to nine. Quarter to nine or nine for ten. Nine forty-five. Option two. Eight or nine. Eight. Eight. Okay. Oí que algunos me dijeron nine. Y number four. It's eleven or five. Option two. It's five past eleven. It's five past eleven. Excellent. Y number five. It's quarter past four. Quarter it's past three. Three. Quarter three. Quarter past three. three. And? Three fifteen. Yeah. Three fifteen, yes. Okay, and the last one? It's half past four. Okay. It's four thirty. Four thirty. Number four. Four thirty. Four thirty. Four thirty. Four thirty. Correct. Okay. Let's end it. Okay. Yes. Vamos a ver a dónde decía. Look and select the two possible correct. Yes. Okay, then we have racing and falling intonation. Ah, ya no tenemos más de los clocks. Y ahí tenemos más del present continuous. Okay, this is A.M. is in the morning and P.M. it's at night in the afternoon or in the evening. Okay, for example, our class is at 7 p.m., okay, or uh, in the evening, okay, como ya había dicho. Okay, entonces, here, it's 7 o'clock in the morning, okay, in the morning, or it's 7 a.m., okay, you can say in both ways. It's 7 in the morning or it's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock or it's 12 p.m. or it's noon. Okay, noon. Sería al mediodía. Okay, noon. Serían las 12 del mediodía. And 12 p.m. p.m. Okay. No a.m., sino que p.m. Then we have it's 4 o'clock or it's 4 in the afternoon or it's 4 p.m. Okay? Si se fijan, tenemos noon al mediodía y pasada las 12, que sería afternoon. Por ejemplo, eh, one p.m., 2 p.m., or 2 in the afternoon, okay? Then we have evening, que es lo que les explicaba. Si ven, the sun is not anymore in the sky, okay? The sun is uh, sunset, okay? It's hiding. You cannot see the sun in the evening. So it's seven o'clock, it's seven in the evening, or it's seven p.m., okay? Then we have, it's 10 o'clock, it's 10 at night, or it's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock, or it's 12 at night, it's 12 a.m., okay, aquí empieza el día, ¿verdad? It's 12 a.m., or it's midnight, midnight, medianoche. 
So we have noon, afternoon, evening, night, well, morning, noon, afternoon, evening, night, and midnight. Midnight, the part of the day. Okay, serían las partes del día. Yes? It's clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Questions? No. Okay, we have a conversation. Ah, I see. Yes? Yes? Question? No? No, no, teacher. Okay. Muy bien, entonces tenemos aquí raising and falling intonation. Okay, let's check. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn about rising and falling intonation. In let's get started by understanding intonation. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice while speaking. The use of pitch is called intonation. Understanding English intonation will increase not only your spoken English competency, but your English comprehension as well. Intonation is used to convey meaning. For example, you have the same set of words in two separate sentences, but in one the meaning may be different than in the other. Let's listen or no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? Okay, creo que ya habíamos hablado de esta parte de los dos tipos de preguntas, ¿verdad? De yes no questions o las preguntas cerradas y las double H questions o las preguntas abiertas. Y habíamos hecho una diferencia en la intonation. Okay, cuando vayamos a utilizar a uh, just no question, okay, the intonation has to go up. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? Okay, the intonation has to go up. But when you have a double H question, okay, the intonation will fall down. Okay. What's she doing? What are they doing? Okay. Mm. Or no and WS questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, they're... Okay, I think this is clear. Or do you have questions? Tomorrow we are going to continue with, but in general about the intonation, okay, ya lo, ya lo habíamos visto. No questions? No teacher. Okay, only... No question. No? Okay, give me an example with a uh, yes no question. Intonation, practice intonation. Examples, oral, speak. What are you doing? Mm, esa no es una just no question. Are you okay? Okay. Otra. What time is it, teacher? <laughs> One minute, yes. Ahorita, solo déjenme revisar. Es que ustedes mucho se tardan en hablar. Tengo que andarlos rogando, qué barbaridad. Glenda. Era una cuestión. Ah. Ok, Alejandro, ¿estás you here? Soy. Ay, Alejandro. Ya le van a llamar. Ana Consuelo, 
Glenda. Present teacher. Okay, Glenda. Hilda, eh, Hilda de Los Ángeles. Idalia. José Audis. Catherine Yamilet. Present. Ok. And Reina. No? Ok, so that's all for today. We're going to continue tomorrow. Be on time. 7 o'clock. No 7.05. No 7.03. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.